Santo kid. The boss said to get him. Hey, you, we want him alive, not dead. Well, let's get him. All right. You're just kidding you with that old kid. Now you fellas back to the corral. I'm going to ranch house. Tom. Mr. Cartwright, another heart attack. Where's Tom? He should have had Creech here long ago. I don't know, Mr. Cartwright. But you know where that good-for-nothing son of yours they call the Tonto Kid is, huh? I ain't seen my son since you discharged him. The fool. He was the best rider and cowhand I ever had. But he can't take orders. Wants to be his own boss. <laughs> Here's Tom. Where you been? I might have died. You said you wanted the Tonto Kid. He was on the range this morning. We tried to ride him down. And they got away, of course. That's right. Mm. And I had a job for him, too. On the ranch? No. Guess I'll have to let... Hmm. Sam Creech has taken plenty of time getting here. Anything else you want of me? No, that's all, Tom. I... Since when is Tonto City a two-day ride, Creech? Well, I was in the hills. Your man was waiting when I got back, and I rode right out. Ah, still hunting for gold air instead of practicing law. Uh, let's go inside. Gotta be done right away. If I could get my hands on the Tonto Kid, there'd only be one for you to do. You'll have to do them both now, I guess. It's my will. I am near the end of my trail, Creech. Draw that up in legal form. You should make one, of course. Go ahead, read it. The Tom Quinlan is pick a 500 head of beef fitters and a lifelong job running Diamond D Ranch. Fix it so he can't be discharged for no reason whatsoever. By nobody. You got that straight? Yes, I understand. Tom will take care of Pop Slauson and the boys. And the rest of the Diamond D Ranch goes to my granddaughter, Edna May Cartwright. I didn't know you had a granddaughter. Now, how could you? I never told anybody. I know you had a son once here whom you... Uh... Drove away. Yes. I tried to break him like an unruly colt, just like I did the Tonto Kid. I... I thought they'd come back. He was in the army. He was killed in the war. How do you know that he was even married? His wife wrote me a letter and I tore it up. 
Later, another one came with a black border from his daughter, Edna May Cartwright. She oh. told of her mother's death. A month ago, I wrote her a letter, but it came back undelivered. How do you expect to find her? That's what I wanted the Tonto Kid for. But now you're going to go. Maybe you can't find her soon enough, but you're going to try. Creech, you've always been satisfied to be Fox. You ain't never turned wolf. You never dare double-cross me. I'll take care that you don't do it after I'm gone. You'd better get someone if that's the way you feel about it. There, now forget about it. Just keep your mind straight and don't let it lead you into temptation. I'll go ahead and dope out my will. I have no time to waste. I'm leaving the stage in a few minutes. Besides, your troubles don't interest me. I ain't in trouble, Preach. I'm in luck. I you know. know. You just saw Ranch Cartwright. I should say not. Well, I told you your troubles didn't interest me. It's worth a million, my story. Oh, you're crazy. Get out of here before I throw you off. I wouldn't try that, Mr. Lawyer Man. I'm sort of sensitive about being shoved around. I know. You're down on me because I haven't forked over the 200 for getting me out of the last mess. But I just ain't had it. Everybody knows you held up the U-Box payroll and killed Harry Peck. Supposing we wait until they get some evidence before getting too personal. You know, Court. Take a look. Silver, sure, right? Looks pretty thin. It would be thin for silver. What do you mean? It ain't silver. It's platinum. Where did you get this? You're looking at the one and only fellow who fell into the devil's pocket and came out to tell about it. You got this in the devil's pocket? Sure. That's Cartwright's land. Right you are. But I can't file on it. And that's where you come into the deal. Half and half. You want me to cheat a client of mine? What do you think I am? You ain't a smart lawyer. Adios. Wait. Keep your mouth shut for a few days in case I decide to go in with you. Manager ducked with the bankroll. Well, I guess it's up to me then to wire home for money. All right, come on, come on. Now, that's busted up. You know the oh, store's all over. Come on, get in there where you belong. All right, get that canvas all the wagon. 
Come on, get that pot falling up and get out of here. What's the matter, you fellas? You know this all's over. What do you think of it, Nancy? I don't dare think of it, Ruby. Come on, come on, get out of those clothes. Check in that wardrobe. Come on, all of you, check in your wardrobe. Pardon me. Can you tell me where I can find Miss Nancy Cahill? In the dressing tent. She's changing her clothes. I'd like to speak to her. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Someone to see you, Nancy. Well, there's nobody I want to see. She doesn't know me, but it's important to both of us. Some guy from the West. Maybe he saw the show. He might be a lifesaver, kid. You wanted to see me. Well, I, uh, I'm really looking for Miss Edna May Cartwright. You know her? Well, I'll say I do. She was with the show. It was taken sick and had to leave in Selena, Kansas. She isn't there now, but well, I know her address. The reward is yours if I can find her. The reward? Well, what has she done? Inherited a fortune from her grandfather. Oh, say, isn't that a great break for Edna May? It is if I can only get her there before the old man dies. Now you give me her address. And I'll bring her over to your place. I haven't any. Not even a room. The show's busted and I'm broke. Then take me to her and I'll give you a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? I'll go with you, mister. Creech is my name. I'll be ready in three minutes. If you're looking for a room, it'll be a dollar and a half for two in this van. We're looking for Miss Edna May Cartwright, who lives here. Who did live here, you mean? She's gone. Didn't she say where to? I suppose she's in the morgue by now. She went to the river. Oh! You mean she drowned herself? Dead? I suppose so. She ain't been seen since. And nobody's been here to claim her belongings. And she owes me $32. What do you want with her? I'm her grandfather's lawyer. Where are her belongings? They're up in her room. What about my $32? I ain't no philanthropist, Mr. Uh... Breach is my name. I'll take care of what she owes you. Now, will you show us her room? Oh, sure. That's all right with me. Come along. certificates, and the War Department's notification of the death of Edna May's father, and these letters from her mother, who's to know you ain't the granddaughter of Lance Cartwright? No one. But, but are you sure I'm doing right in letting people think I'm Edna May? Of course you are. If she's still alive, you'll save her inheritance for her. Otherwise, it'll go to the state, as the will provides. Now, hurry up. Decide what you want to do. All right. I'll go with you. What I do is remember what I told you.
What's the matter, Lamb? Not sure about this, Sam. We got a lot of gold on with us. Well, if my eyes don't fool me, it's the Tonto Kid. Is it a holdup? No, Miss Gay. Miss Cartwright. It's only a fast. All right, Lim. I'll vouch for the Tonto Kid. Where are your coyotes, young fellow? Lost them. I heard a couple of Lampton's men run you out of Clarksville last night. Nobody ever run me out of nowhere. The old man Cartwright. A couple of hard guns got my horse in ambush. But me? I was lucky as usual. Hey, Mr. Lawyer Man. How are you? Been away quite a while. I heard what old man Cartwright wants to see you. They say he's about done for. Guess I'll have to eat the work myself. Maybe it's soon sort of rude to you Eastern folks, but uh, I'm pretty Boston. And you? Cartwright's her name. Edna May Cartwright. Now you mind your own business, Donald Kid. Got your gun, Creech. I'm going to drift back and talk to those fellas. Talk to them? Do you think they'll listen? He means talk with a six gun. Or they might be friends of his. You covered, Grogan. Why, you dirty double crossing? You'll get yours by this, Pete Slauson. Yeah? And what do you think you'll be getting? Drop that rifle. Drop it. Another six gun. Come on. Drop it. Say, listen, kid. 
Why don't you throw in with us? There's 8,000 on that stage. Go ain't it. interested. Now turn around. Start making some tail dust. Come on, you're riding inside. Say, who's running this stage anyhow? Her name's Edna May Cartwright. Oh, pretty name, isn't it? Looks like I am riding inside this side. You did talk to them. Yes, they both belong to the same lodge. Eh? <laughs> you know horses, ma'am. I must have been all wet about you coming from the east. kid. He's a bad lot. How can you be so ungrateful? He saved your life, too. That makes us even. I defended him on a murder charge and got him off. Well, then he must have been innocent. Guilty as king. He's no acquaintance for a nice girl like you. Cartwright Ranch. Where is she? Why don't you come? I want to see my boy's little girl. Now then, Ranch, the telegram said she'd be here in a minute. Tom, this is Edna May Cartwright. Tom Quinlan, the foreman of Diamond D Ranch. Your foreman. How do you do? I'm so glad you got here, Miss Cartwright. Your grandfather can't last much longer. I'm so glad we're not too late. How time you're here. I can't do it. I can't go through it. Yes, you can. Forgery is a crime. Remember, you signed Edna May's name to those statements of identity. Here's Edna May. Come a little closer. You don't hate your old granddaddy, Edna May. You've got every right. I couldn't hate you, even if I wanted to. Down at the bottom, deep inside, I, I meant what was right. 
<laughs> a Cartwright carrying on where I leave off. Now, don't talk anymore. Everything will be all right. I'll stay here with you. That was worth waiting for. I What is it this time, Mrs. Fisher? Oh, it's my boy, Wesley. He's in jail. Like where he belongs. Oh, please, Mr. Fitch. Just get him out once more. It's, it's only for fighting. It's $15 or 15 days. If you pay it for me, I... Oh, I haven't been paid for the last case yet. You, you can have this for security. All right. I'll get your boy out of jail. We'll go down to jail right now. We're just leaving. Close the door. I'll wait for you. When did you get this? What, Mrs. Pitt? Why, I found it when I went to the garden. Oh. There ain't nothing wrong in you, haven't it? Oh, no, no, nothing at all, Mrs. Pitt. It's a little later than I thought it was. Now, you go out there. Don't worry about Wes. I'll get him out first thing in the morning. Oh, thank you so much. You are such a good man. I thought you were down looking over the platinum deposit. What if I was? It wouldn't do you no good. The deal's off. Meaning? I'm going to tell Miss Cartwright what's on her land. So you think you've made a hit with the new boss of the diamond deal with your heroics? Think she'll marry you, eh? Well, I'm not even good enough to curry her horse. There's what I owe you, Mr. Lawyer Man. Any further accounts between us will be of your making. I'll be watching you from now on.
Well, here I am, boys. Fill me in. Hope I'm as lucky as I was last night. Better not be. <laughs> Good night. Act Baker been around here tonight, Steve? Not yet, Mr. Creech. He comes in. Tell him to wait. All right. Howdy, Mr. Lawyer Man. The game's wide open. <laughs> you might as well lay down, Jeff. I got you beat. Well, there's only one way to be two, and that's hold a better hand. Well, I'm going to. Got young West Britchin here? Yeah. He got fighting drunk and hack run him in. Promised his old lady I'd give him a heart to heart talking to. All right with you, George? Sure, it's all right. Go ahead, Mr. Green. Come here, Wes. And before we get out, I'll set you to ask you. Where'd you get that watch? No. No. I didn't kill Harry Peck. Honest, I didn't. I swapped the horse for the watch just before he left. Please believe me. Pull yourself together, kid. How are you going to explain why it was buried in your backyard? I tell you, I didn't do it. I hid the watch because I was scared. It's the truth. You're my lawyer. I'll listen to you. You've got to help me. The only thing you can do now is keep your full mouth shut, no matter what happens. All right. I promise. When will you get me out of here? When I decide... It's best. The crates want you to wait for him, Hack. All right, Steve. Just the man I want to see. What about, Sam? Well, it's a question of ethics and justice being all mixed up. Who is it? Well, I've been his lawyer and hate to give out information against him. Come on outside. It's the Tonto Kid. I'd rather not hear about it, Treach. If it ain't plumb vital to justice. About the Harry Peck murder, the kid was carrying his watch a while ago. I don't believe the kid would be such a fool. The way to do is to make sure. I'm only trying to do my duty. Up to you. Turn him over. You win. Well, that washes me up, boys. Suppose you and me have a drink together, kid. All right, Heck. Yourself a steady job. Don't know what you heard right. What time you got? Oh, that my watch got busted up when I fell my horse. You got a room over the hotel, ain't you, kid? What's on your mind, Heck? That's between me and you. Let's go over to your room. Sure.
What's the matter, Heck? If I'm barking up the wrong tree, there ain't going to be no harm done. Turn around and face the wall. If I knew what you were looking for, maybe I could help you. I'm looking for a watch that belonged to Harry Peck. Oh. So that lawyer man's been stringing you, huh? You know I'd never keep a watch here if I... Well, I'll be. Turn around. Now, I aim to give you a fair trial with the judge and jury, kid. I'm only a deputy sheriff. You know as well as me that I never face trial once the word spreads. It'll mean a mob and a rope. I've got my duty to perform. Well, I know that, Hack. I'm not blaming you. What's the idea, Hack? What's going on? The killer of Harry Peck is on Diamond D land. The Tonto Kid. We found his horse, so he's a foot. Mr. Slauson? Oh, Mr. Slauson! Will you come here, please? What's it all about? They say my boy killed Harry Peck. And they're going to string him up. You mean hang him? Why, he wouldn't kill anybody in cold blood. Peck Baker says... He found Pete's watch on my boy. Who is Hack Baker? Deputy Sheriff. Oh, they mustn't catch him. Get me a horse. We'll go back to the ranch. We'll search the house. He might be hiding there. All right. Let's go. I'm afraid he's dying. No, it's mostly loss of blood. Just a skin. If he'd have been hit by you, he'd have been gone long ago. Seen your boy around here, Slauson? No, heck, I ain't seen the kid in a long time. Well, who's that horse for? Why, Miss Cartwright. Come here, Tom. I'm searching the house. Oh, 
out, caller. This is my room. Who told you that you might enter? Well, nobody, miss. But I represent the law, and I'm searching for the Tonto kid. I caught him with the goods. Tom, who are you supposed to take orders from? Why, you, Miss Cartwright. Then get the Diamond D boys back on the ranch. Do you understand? I sure do, ma'am. And you, Mr. Sheriff, get your men off my property. Don't think that I'm ungrateful, but you've done too much for me already. You can't leave like this. Please. Don't you realize what this means to you if they find me here? Thanks. A lot. You're needing this. Where'll you be, son? In the devil's pocket, Dad. Good luck, boy. I'll take that telegram, Quinlan. I'm still the family lawyer, you know. It's addressed to a Cartwright, and it's going to a Cartwright. All right, right. That's the way you feel about it. Well, that's the way I feel. Well, go ahead with it. I don't care what you think. I know who I'm going to deliver to. It's sent to your granddaddy, and I allowed you to to have it. Yes, your foreman wouldn't trust me to deliver it. Thank you, Tom. Well, Mr. Creech, you've lost your wit. The real Edna May is alive. You're lying. Am I? Your little scheme is shot to pieces, isn't it? What are you going to do now? Send you back where you came from. Oh, no, you're not. I'm taking the stage to meet Edna May at Clarksville. You fool. She'll put you in jail. I'll take that chance. This telegram's a fit. The girl is, too. The well, landlady couldn't have known you were going to take Edna May's place. I know what they do. We'll both meet the train at Clarksville. Oh, don't you remember me, Mr. Creech? I'm the Tonto Kid's father. I want you to fly off the handle, uh, and I tell you what I want you to do. Everybody thinks Tonto Kid killed Harry Peck. But you and me, Wes. Well, what do you want me to do? That's just what I'm going to tell you about now. I wonder what could 
what has happened to Edna May. I gave you the right answer. The girl is dead. Oh, I see. And you expect me to go ahead with your scheme? I can see him do. He's going to protect himself. Take my word for it. Edna May will never be heard from again. Don't be a fool. Throw away a fortune for us both. when I met. Did they find the Tonto kid? None of the time I rode into town after I got your telegram. Will you go on back to the ranch, Pop? shouldn't have come here again, Miss Cartwright. I'm not Miss Cartwright. I'm a fraud, a cheat. A cat's paw in the hands of Sam Creech, I... You? Why, you couldn't be mixed up in his crooked deals. Oh, but I am. The real Edna May was on her way here. I met the train at Clarksville with Creech. She wasn't on the train. Oh, Creech. <laughs> well... Yes, I'll build a fire. You'll pay for this. Wait till my grandfather's aunt, Cartwright, hears about it. Oh, I'll wake up. Old man Cartwright's as dead as a doornail. Dead? When did he die? The other day. At the May Cartwright's on the ranch. Everybody knows about it. Closer from Tana City to Skytop than it is to Clarksville. I can prove who I am. Look, this is my grandfather. That's old man Cartwright. You do believe I'm Edna May, don't you? Yeah, I can see now. We'll act just the way he plans until I see a way out. Everything all right? No, everything ain't all right. You've got the girl, haven't you? Yeah, and I've got you too. What do you mean? You're changing that split between you and that gal. You brought here to be Miss Cartwright. It'll be three ways instead of two. All right, Wes. Why not? There's enough in it for all of us. I 
I've got it figured. While you and Preach were on your way, someone got her off the train at Sky Top. Well, where could they take her? Three miles out of Sky Top, Preach has a cabin he uses for prospecting. That's where we'll find them. But they'll pick you up, sure. Oh, that's all right. This is my one chance to get even with Creech. Then I'll go with you. Justice Creech, but it won't be all mixed up. Nancy Cahill, is it really you? 
I don't understand. Well, you will, Edna May, as soon as it's all straightened out. Everything all right? Oh, just wonderful. You know, we're partners in the platinum mine. Edna May said she would have never known about it if it hadn't been for you. Isn't that fine? Say, uh, we won't need the doc anymore. Not with you around. I'm afraid he's not that kind of a doctor. What's this all about? If you think you're going to get away from me again to be a good bad man, you're very much mistaken. We're all the witnesses. Why, we are. Why, I don't even know you're... Nancy Cahill. Well, now we will proceed with the ceremony. 